I guess time to kill. It's just, it's just so nice, man. Having that, basically, that no recoil. Oh, man. Oh, my God. The freaking beam on Freddy. See you later, buddy. Hi, right, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be showcasing the no recoil QBZ pro player class setup. This gun is so freaking dominant. A lot of you guys know the meta changed recently. The QBZ is the go-to gun. It is the AR that most ARs are using right now. Obviously, you have your Krigs here and there, but this gun just does it all. Let's dive into the class setup right now and then go over some gameplay. So a couple facts before we dive in, into the actual class. You guys are probably wondering what's the main differences between the Krig and the QBZ because they have very similar, I guess, time to kill, similar stats. Well, first of all, other than the Krig can beam a little bit harder than the than QBZ, the QBZ has two really good things about it over the Krig. One, the time to kill is a little bit faster than the Krig. So obviously when you're playing against other Krigs or playing against SMGs, you have a little bit of a better chance to kill that player. And obviously, you know, as an AR role, you want to have an AR that can kind of compete with all the guns. X and 4 did that very well, but it was a little overpowered. So the QBZ doesn't do it as good, but it's still really good. Another good thing about the QBZ, it's the pull-up time. It has it's a little bit more mobile. It can pull up a little bit faster. And the Krig, by pull-up time, I mean basically when you aim in, pull-up time, mid-sprint, sprint out time. So it's really good when you're trying to get a little mixy, kind of as a, a flex player. So let's dive right into it. I am using the fresh powder variant. I don't even know how I got this. We got it somehow. Some of you guys probably have it too. So for the optic, I really like the micro flex on the QBZ. You can also use the mill stop. I'm just not a fan of the mill stop on the QBZ. I like how the micro feels. The micro feel, micro flex feels just really nice. It feels like it just feels good. Like when you're in the mix, when you're kind of like being more aggressive with it and in people's faces, the mill stop feels more for range. I mean, that's essentially what it is because mill stop actually mill stop aims in a little farther. For the muzzle, we got the muzzle break. Now I know some of you guys are probably questioning this a bit because with the infantry compensator, well, you get a lot less vertical. But I always preach this: vertical recoil control. It's a, a lot easier to control, especially on controller than horizontal. So this muzzle brake, um, you know, you 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 get you um, reduce a little bit of vertical recoil control, but it doesn't touch the horizontal, and that's kind of what you want for that no recoil, that really good uh, beamage. For the barrel, we got the nice little Ranger, 100% bullet velocity, just one of the best attachments as an assault rifle. You see, the bullet velocity goes all the way up to 1,250, based off like the basic, which would be 625. So it doubles 100%. Reinforced heavy is also another good attachment, but it's not really allowed. It's kind of like GA or banned. Damage barrels are kind of banned in the league right now, so we stick with the Ranger. Steady and lasers are basically banned. Um, for the underbarrel, this is important. We're going to be rocking the field agent grip, obviously, for the huge boost in recoil, reducing recoil control. 20% horizontal recoil control, 6% vertical recoil control. Very, very nice attachment to have on any AR, basically, especially if you're trying to make a no recoil class. For the magazine, we got the 40 round drum. Another just great. I love this one over pretty much all of them. The 40 round drum just gets a lot done and you just slightly lose reload speed, which is not that big of a deal. For the handle, another very good attachment, the airborne elastic wrap. Very good. And stock, another good attachment on ARs, the Raider stock for the sprint out time and the 40% aim walking movement speed. So now that I show you the class, let's dive into some uh, league play game. Let's do this. I'm going to show you what the QBZ is made of, man. Guys, so we do got some Moscow hardpoint rocking the QBZ using my pistol to run out a little bit faster. Quick tip for you guys. Let me push on Eskis here. Now, I haven't really shot much, so this is going to be, let's see, let's really test my, I guess, beaming capabilities. You see it right there, man. A time to kill. It's just, it's just so nice, man. Having that, basically, that no recoil. Oh, man, I'm just, I'm just showing, I'm popping off for you guys, man. That's the intro right there. That's like a nice little, oh, oh, okay, 6P, 6 re. So, obviously, there's a lot of very good ARs, but the meta, the pro player meta, we try to balance things out. We try to make things pretty even. And um, some of those ARs, for example, like the XM4 got banned, um, the FR. Some of these ARs are just not allowed because they are just simply too good and kind of what dominate the AR row. Example, AK-47. That thing has a four-shot kill range. It is basically an AK-74U. On steroids so that is not allowed at all 
So there's other guns, for example, there's like about three, four ARs being allowed in use right now, which is a Krig. You have the nice little QBZ, and that was a good Kobe. So the QBZ is just fits really well in the current meta due to it being basically a slightly better Krig. Now, something about the QBZ that people seem to forget or kind of not really understand is that even though it has a little bit more recoil, it still shoots very straight. Dude, can I get some help? Help me, please. Look at that. I'm winning a lot of my gunfights, a lot of my 1v1s, a lot of a lot of the engagements I'm getting to. I'm winning them. Oh my god, the freaking beam on Freddy. See you later, buddy. And I'm dead. There's a there's spawn there. I'm telling you, we might lose this game, but I'm demonstrating the true potential and skill of the QBZ. Okay, almost tie game. Let's try to break this hill right here. See you later, Drew. Teammate dies. I'm gonna push this. QBZ, it's a flex. It's a good flex. I'll chow that. He's there. I'll chow that. Oh, smokes. Set up a front pinch here. And I knew it. A guy would play for that. That's so that's so league play like, like bro. Like nobody does that shit, but I just know in league play someone will do that shit. Be Molly now for using my QBZ. You don't know how to use the QBZ. It's my QBZ. You can't grab my QBZ and think you're about to beam me with it or something like you're not gonna do shit with it, bro. I'm sorry. Like sit down. Be humble. Ah. Ah. Oh, damn. I saw him last second. Nice. Good trade, Shockify. Let's go. Good trade, buddy. And I know you, a lot of you guys have seen pro players use this gun. Like, every team has one player using this gun right now. Like, the QBC is just such a good and dominant gun to use in the current meta. I want to say dominant because I, it makes it sound like it's OP, but it's definitely just a very good gun to use in the current meta. Oh, damn. That nade's going to... Ooh, I forgot that. Attack mask. So, I know some of you guys have been asking me in the comments, and I'm pretty sure it comes every now and then. You guys are probably wondering, what do I think about the current meta? Oh my god, that guy just flew across the screen. Uh, the current meta is definitely interesting, as I pop a four-piece. Um, I know it's weird with these guns and these different changes, and as I pop a six-piece. But I think it's a little better. It's a little better, better than what the meta was. A little bit more balanced, a little more fair, a little bit bigger of a skill gap. And that's my honest thoughts about it. 46 and 16. I mean, I demonstrated the gun. I demonstrated the skill. Like this gun is, it's phenomenal. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. The no recoil QBZ class setup. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, 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 leave like, 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 like the video. Seriously, though, it helps a lot. Comment down below, whatever you want to comment down below. I'll try to respond to uh, most of the comments if I can. Hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you in the next video. It's a high chance it's going to be, by the way, a pro tip video. So you want to subscribe, bell on, all those stuff. Yeah. Okay, bye. Love you.